Hello students, welcome to Nelson School Online Education Program, Learn Better. In the previous session, we have already begun with the new chapter that is direct and indirect speech and the meanings of direct and indirect speech and we have cleared the terms like reporting speech, reported speech, reporting verb and reported verb. Okay, so let us move further with the same chapter. Okay, contents to go through. So the first two points were already done. Now we'll start with the third point that is rules for the change in tenses. Okay, which almost deals with the reporting verbs. If the reporting verb is in the present or the future tense, okay, so the tense of the verb in the reported speech remains unchanged. For an example, if your reporting verb is says or will say and to some extent present perfect like has said, okay, the reported verb will not change. Why? Because the reporting verb is in present or future tense. Okay, children. Now, if you can see in the example number one, Indu says the teacher is going to teach a new topic. So, children, the very first step, okay, always whenever you get a statement of a direct speech to change into the indirect speech, the very first thing you have to make sure is to underline the reporting verb, okay, and circle the reported verb. These two things will do the first, okay. So, the very first step, what you have to do is you have to underline the reporting verb, okay, and if your reporting verb is says, that means it is present okay children now here the reported verb is is going but because the reporting verb is says in present tense so my reported verb will not change as you can see i have written down same is going only okay the only thing that matters is just the direct speech you have to convert into indirect speech without changing the tense of the reported verb okay as you can see in the next uh, the down answer you could see over here i have removed all the inverted commas Okay, I have replaced comma with the conjunction that, okay, but I have not changed the verb, the tense of the verb. You can see down, Indu says, comma is replaced with the conjunction that, the teacher is going to teach a new topic, full stop. Okay, number two, you see, Hina will say, good music makes a good film. Okay, so let us go with the first step, very first step of ours, that is underline the reporting verb and circle the reported verb. So once when you underline the reporting verb, that is will say, you'll highlight or circle the reported verb makes. Now, because the reporting verb is in future tense, children, will say, okay, so my reported verb will not change and I'll write as it is. But the only thing that I have told you that matters is just to remove the inverted commas. So it will be Hina will replace comma with the conjunction that, okay, now because it was inverted comma, so G was capital, you have to make sure to put G small. So it becomes Hina will say that good music makes a good film. Understood children? So you can see the verbs in the green are not changed and we have used the same words in the pink. Why? Because the reporting verb here says was in present tense and reporting verb here will say is in future tense. Let us move further with the reporting verbs. What if the reporting verb is in the past tense? When your reporting verb children comes in the past tense that is said then you have multiple tenses to con convert into okay so let us first begin it's written the same thing if the reporting verb is in the past tense then the reported verb will change as follows so the very first step okay if it is in simple present the verb it will change to simple past now these we are talking children these verbs are reported verbs okay because reporting verb is said only because it is said i have to start changing reported verbs now, if your reported verb is simple present in direct speech, in indirect speech, it will change to simple past. As you could see over here, Sia said, Myra writes a letter. So, it is Sia said. Children, very first step, underline the reporting verb, circle the reported verb. Okay, done. Now, because the reporting verb is said in the simple, uh, sorry, in the past tense, now my reporting, reported verb will change. My reported verb writes is in simple present so this rights will change to simple past that is rights will change to wrote okay so you could see over here sia said replace comma with the conjunction that now m is capital why because it's a name so myra wrote a letter instead of rights simple present it will change to wrote simple past so this is the very first category simple present changes to simple past the next category it is if the reported verb is present continuous, it will change to past continuous. Let's read the example children. Sia said, Myra is writing a letter. 
so very first step what we usually do is underline the reporting verb circle the underline the reporting verb and circle the reported verb now just is writing okay children so it will change to was writing because present continuous changes to past continuous so it is sia said remove comma put the conjunction that m capital is writing will change to was writing a letter okay next category if the reported verb is in the present perfect tense then the verb will change into the past perfect tense okay with a statement she has said myra has written a letter okay so first of all you have to underline the reporting verb circle the reported verb if reporting verb is set then change the reported verb now reported verb tense is present perfect has written so it will change to past perfect that is had written okay sorry so it is sia said okay comma will replace with the conjunction that myra has written will change to had written a letter okay next if your reporting verb is in the past tense that is said okay then and if it the uh, reported verb inside it it's present perfect continuous tense then you are going to change it to the past perfect continuous tense okay so very first step underline the reporting verb that is said and circle the reported verb that is has been writing because the reporting verb is said the reported verb will change now it is has been writing okay it is present perfect continuous it will change to past perfect continuous that is had been writing okay so it will become sia said remove comma put the conjunction that m capital had been writing a letter so has been writing will change to had been writing okay children the next category now what if the reporting verb is said so the reported verb is already in the simple past tense okay we used to convert simple present to simple past now what if it is in the simple past now if your reported verb is in the simple past you are going to put it into the past perfect tense okay so you could see over here sia said myra wrote a letter first step as usual underline the reporting verb circle the reported verb okay so it is said now my verb will change reported verb will change my reported verb is in the simple past tense so i am going to put it into the past perfect tense so wrote will change to had written okay same is written over here she has said remove comma put the conjunction that myra's m capital myra wrote a letter will change to myra had written a letter so this is when your reported verb is in the simple past tense next category if your reporting verb is said okay then you have to go for the reported verb if your reported verb is in the past continuous tense it is going to change it to the past perfect continuous tense okay for example she has said myra was writing a letter so it is said underline the reporting verb circle the reported verb was writing now if it is past continuous it will change to past perfect continuous so it is was writing will change to had been writing okay so it is she has said remove the comma put the conjunction that myra's m capital was writing changes to had been writing a letter next category what if your reported verb is already in the past perfect tense so when the reported verb is in the past perfect tense we have to we have, in short we don't have to deal with the verb because it remains unchanged okay so it is she has said myra had written a letter first step as usual underline the verb reporting verb circle the reported verb had written okay so it's had written simple past tense it will keep remain same whenever it is in the past perfect it faces no change okay so it is simply she has said remove comma put the conjunction that myra's m capital had written remains had written okay so it becomes she has said that myra had written a letter the next category if the reporting verb is in the past tense again as usual it is said then you have to go for the reported verb and if you could see the model that is must which shows the outside compulsion if must is used you have to use the word had to okay so it is sia said once again underline the reporting verb that is said circle the reported verb must learn okay and then because it is said it has to change so must changes to had to so it is sia said remove comma put the conjunction that myra m capital 
must learn changes to had to learn computers. Now, if any models are used, children like can, may, sh shall, will, then will, would, shall, should, may, might, can, could. Okay, can changes to could as you could see over here. Models used will, shall, can, may will change to would, should, could, might. That is, will becomes would, shall becomes should, can becomes could, may becomes might. Okay, so with models we have to just deal like that. Let us start the example. Sia said, Myra can write a letter. So it is Sia said. The first step, underline the reporting verb and you have to circle the reported verb that is can. Okay, so it is Sia said, remove comma, put the conjunction that Myra's M capital can write changes to could write a letter. Okay, for an example, if it is written Sia said, Myra shall or I shall write a letter, so it will become I should write a letter. Okay, if it is will, Sona will write a letter, it changes to Sona would write a letter. Okay, it may rain today, it changes to it might rain that day. Okay, so may changes to might. Fine. So how children it will becomes would, shall become should, can becomes could, may becomes might. Okay. Now children, what if in the direct speech only they have used these models like would, should, could, might. If they have already used it, then you cannot reverse them. Okay. So you have to use the same. For an example, if it is written Sia said, Myra could write a letter because these are the uh, models like will, shall, can, may that shows the present thing and would, should, could, might will show the past thing. Okay, children? So, if they are already used in the past, then no need to change it. So, it becomes Sia said, Myra could write a letter. So, in answer also write the same thing. Sia said that Myra could write a letter. Could remains could, would remains would, should remain should and might remains might. Okay? Thank you. So that's it for this session. We'll continue with the next thing in the next session.